With that spear, more of the bay will be open to us. Could be worth another look. That's rubbish! What? Brock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me! If you are this upset, he already has. Freya. Can we return to your story of Freemthor? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes, and built it he did. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Freemthor! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. I came by and took out an Einherjar yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. 
very talented with a sword. Move here. I meant that, literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the Isles, and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Brother, about the oracles of your lands, would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first, but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once, I sought the oracle for a means to break my bondage to Ares. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. Therefore she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. Memory serves. We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Durland's hammer shouldn't be far behind. Just over there, to be precise. My son and I, we... We came to these isles to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and... was, well, seemingly proven right. Is that why you haven't moved on? My son, I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. We were sailors once. We left Midgard to seek our fortunes elsewhere. We were so close to succeeding. My boy, I'm so sorry. are old. His son is surely gone by now. It costs us little to make sure. Really?
You're back. We have news of your son. Oh, please, please, tell me. He died trying to find the other treasure. He didn't know you were doing the same. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. We'd be alive and rich beyond all reason. Together. Don't blame yourself. He is at peace. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. Yes. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes.
the Gjallarhorn. What is it? Where did it come from? It's a very loud horn, and I've not the faintest idea. Mamiya. Not truly. No one knows where the Gjallarhorn originated. Odin just gained possession of it one day. Hmm. Again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. This is yours. Hot Sam! Where did you? Yeah, this is mine. Used to be a symbol for the resistance. Worker solidarity, all that. Glad to have it back. Good reminder that we still haven't given up. Not yet, anyway. <sighs> Never expected to see this thing again. Derwin. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah, if you say so. You spoke of resistance. Instead, you drink. Oh, I've got plans that you know nothing about. Coming together as we speak. Meantime, I don't plan on my soul parts floating to Alfheim Stone Cold sober. When the Aesir run me through, I'd rather be too hammered to feel it. You are staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. If the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with this place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Yeah, sure. Derlin. Are well, you to thank for the newfound fresh air sliding up our nostrils? We turned off the mining rigs. So you did. Let's pretend you did so in a manner consistent with the 97 parts safety regulations handbook written specifically for the operation, maintenance and deactivation of said mining equipment. Do what you will. Hmm. Well, thanks anyway. Means a lot.
Well done. Though I don't suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Have an interest in botanicals now? Violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Did you make the spear? Wait, no. Rock has to be the one to tell me what happened. I'm just gonna pretend I was never here.
I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. <laughs> It's amazing. After all my time away, there is truly nothing I missed about this place. And now, Freya? Hope it's to your liking. Something in mind? Strike true. I'll heat up the forge. Want something in particular? Anything for Freya? Need something? No need to thank me.
You again. You know, you're the reason Odin's thugs are marching around the city. We're killing all the Einherjar we can find, if that's any consolation. Whoa, whoa! How about we just take that outside? This is a peace-loving establishment. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, 
If that's still the plan... It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. Spear. See what we done. Now do the thing. Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much work. Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am hurt. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? Some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything you see in the plan. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to move. I taught them all about Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. It is safe. And serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. Huh? 
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, <laughs> it didn't. That didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this. And uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And uh, Treus, see you later. Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. The two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? You don't need to know why things are done. You just need to accept what I say. But I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? When we got <laughs> huh. Out of here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. <laughs> what are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you. But I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here.
finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? The first giant? Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath, wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lao should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Through. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Oh, he's such an asshole. Let's find that mask piece. 